This is an abandoned Minecraft base. Someone built this over 200 days ago and hasn't returned. So now it's just sitting here collecting dust. Most people would see this and just walk right past it. Ignore it like all the other messed up bases. Welcome to Minecraft Trade Hub, where I start with nothing and do whatever it takes to become rich. We're gonna take this abandoned base and transform it into an ultimate money-making machine. So this looks like an abandoned golf course. Somebody, oh, they put a mystery chest down. Back when I made my very first golf course video, everybody was making them. And it's, it's not a great golf course. I can see why he abandoned it. But I saw this and I knew there was potential. So the first thing we need to do is clean up as much as we can any offers he was trying to sell the base before he left this is so sad it's like the ancient ruins of someone's home Yes, the good news is we can't lose money. Oh, we can. We could spend money on stuff and lose money. I was about to say, since we didn't buy this, we just found it. We'll be good, but... You never know. It seems like there's some secret signs over here. It seems like this might have had a first course go over the water. What does this all say? Please don't break the... Well, that didn't work. Hey, you slide on along to my mini golf island. Only $200 per play. Oh, <laughs> look at that. It's adorable. Too bad it doesn't need to be here anymore. Now that everything's cleaned up, the first thing we need to do is make it stand out. And so I have this really crazy idea. Take a look. We're going to go to our shop here, buy some items put a little upfront investment in so i'm gonna buy four stacks of glass i mean that was honestly like a hefty amount of money but we we actually are, are making some cash right now we're gonna surround this with a dome of glass we're already about two stacks of glass in and i haven't even made my first ring around this island but it should look like a dome when i'm finished here at least that's the idea in my head oh man this is way bigger than i thought it was we've got the uh, original dome here kind of planned out just around the edges it's it's gonna be an organic shape but i want to set it up in a way so that people can see inside my thought is they're gonna be more likely to want to be in when they see how crazy and exciting it is in here that's it i've used all my glass that was four stacks okay it's only it's only a thousand bucks a stack so we'll spend like ten thousand dollars on some more glass and <laughs> oh, guys, my wrist. I actually need a break. Oh, I've placed like probably 500 pieces of glass down so far. This dome is going to prevent people from walking inside. And then what we're going to try to do is create a redstone activated door that actually can charge real money to get in. I'm excited to see if it works. If I get that far, my wrist may not make it. Oh. Guess that's okay. Push through the pain, Zachary. Push through the pain. Oh my gosh, the actual pain in my hand right now is really high. Why do I have to do the glass like this? I could have just made so many other ways to do it. I had to do glass. I had to make a dome. We did it! Okay, that absolutely destroyed my wrist. So now the entire base is covered in a glass dome. So it, it doesn't look too bad, actually. It kind of came out kind of nice. But because this is already built here and I'm trying to keep some of the island originality, I think we might just keep this. Make this the old entrance. As I destroy the entire thing. All right, so we're gonna replace all that dirt. Come on, guys, no one wants to come into a dirt entrance. Replace it with some really fancy looking wood, just like that. Oh, didn't mean to place that. It's not the biggest zone, so I feel like it could use like just a little bit more on the outside here, so they have just a smidge more space to stand when they're waiting. As always, pop a crafty on the inside so our paying customers can use it. No one outside will get this. And what we'll do is we'll create a couple of stairs and we'll use these stairs, I think on the edge here, so that way it just kind of like seamlessly flows into the water a little better. Look at that. See that? That's clean. That's real clean right there. So in order to charge people to come in, we need to build a fairly complicated redstone circuit in the beginning. This is something that I don't even know if it's possible. Wish me luck on what we're about to do today. So first we want to get our uh, piston door set up here. So uh, we're going to place it right here. We'll go ahead and put these two blocks down to block off the entrance. And then all the way up, we're going to do glass so that way no one can fly in and get an easy access point. Then we'll put down the two. Mm, not like that. Not like that. What the heck? How did I play? <laughs> I can't even tell there's no glass here. Those will extend. So these should automatically be powered now. Okay, I got that. I got that. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. <laughs> Guys, this is so hard. Oh, man. Yo, I feel like Mumbo Jumbo right now, folks. Call me Mumbo. That's our chest shop. That's going to have a stick in it. So behind this would be the inverter. So I'm going to make a quick, simple redstone inverter just so I can power this thing on. How I'm going to hide all of this is another question. I couldn't answer that insane amount of redstone that's going to be right out front of the gate here. But, uh, you know, maybe we'll figure out a way to hide it better. That's good. Guys, <laughs> this might not be too bad. I think, okay, okay, so here's the idea. I think a redstone comparator gives a signal based on how much is in a chest. So if I put this in, that's gonna power it right there. A little bit more, powers it more. So we wanna get this signal extended to the point where it is literally one block away from powering these doors from opening. So if I put in 64, this should open it. Or close, maybe one more. There it is. This is how many items it takes to get the comparator signal all the way to power this up. So if I were to take this item and put it in, now that opens up, right? You guys see where I'm going with this? I don't fully know yet either, but we are making some measurable progress. I'm going over my head. I need to make the money, Zach. Grind for it. So now we would want hoppers that lead right into this chest. So this is what we're at right now. 
And what we're doing is now rerouting our redstone wire. This should come up right into here, and I'm hoping that's gonna give a signal off. I might have to wrap it around the side, though. That's good, that's good, that's good. We made some progress, all right, we made some progress. So just one item should trigger this. So now when you open up this chest and buy an item, if I take this dirt out, that launches the dirt, which gets collected and fills back up. So that's your entrance key. So we're gonna be able to charge them to buy this piece of dirt. And the idea is once they buy the dirt, that'll also trigger these doors to open temporarily so you can run through and be inside. That should be how it works. So now that portion is working, but the portion that's not yet working is this right here, which is how you actually are going to get inside. We need a double redstone inverter. The test we've been waiting for. Three, two, one, go. Woo! Oh, it works. It actually works. We have done it, folks. <laughs> I can't believe we did it. So the double redstone inverter, redstone comparator, hopper loader. That's what I'm going to call this thing to sound fancy. Now we just got to take these and name them key. Do I have an anvil? I feel like I need an anvil. Where's where's a man's anvil when he needs an anvil? You'd think I'd have an anvil. I got to make anvil. You never have enough anvils, guys. That's why I build five at a time. Put them down and then you'll never have to worry about it again until you do. That's probably not the most aesthetic thing I've ever seen. We'll put another one in the corner. But hey, five anvils is good. Now we can raise all of these and call them key. Also, we made $500,000 since we've been online, by the way. That casino is making it rain. So now what we can do is create a shop here. And now we get to set the price to enter this arena. $25,000 to enter. Now a player clicks on the shop. They buy the key. This opens up the door and they'll be able to walk through. It's not a perfect solution to hide all the redstone. But I mean, at least when you look in now, you only see like a little small smidgen right there. So it's not too bad. Now let's make these a little bit fancier. Like, come on. If we're here making some kind of exclusive club, you have to pay to get into and needs to have an exclusive door. So what if I use like two emeralds or something? I don't know if this is a good deal or not, but I just bought a lot of diamond blocks. I don't know if that was a good purchase, to be honest. That was like $200,000 or something. But do these still move? Yes! End rods kind of look like torches, right? So maybe if we put a giant sign that says buy entrance key to access here, pointing to it, they'll know how to get here and that might help. And then we can put another one above it to just explain and say, buy a key to open the piston door, walk through fast. So it's like worded well so that people understand how to get inside of it. So we'll say, please no loitering. Welcome to Lovertopia. Players will be able to park their boats here and then kind of just walk on through and be like, oh, let me just buy a key and get into the club. It's like a fancy cigar lounge. Now that we've got this bubble made, we've got the insane redstone door, which means now we'll be able to profit while players, well, I'm offline, um, which is kind of the goal here because the more people that buy our stuff, the more spread out we are, the bigger lover industries grows. We gotta make this actually look good now. We've got like, you know, to figure out why people would ever want to come in here. Let's give us a nice clean, clean color palette to work with. See this guy out here abandoned in his island didn't realize the potential it had, did he? We'll be able to kind of expand on this and have this secondary location for people to go, but there has to be a reason for them to want to come here. So I'm going to plan that right now. Okay, the land has been leveled. Everything on the island has now been cleared. This looks a thousand times better than it did before. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like this looks pretty incredible at the moment. All right, so now here's what we're gonna turn this into. This is a never before seen Minecraft mini game. At least I think it is. I I've never seen anything like this before. The current area that I'm in has PVP enabled, right? That's a toggle we can turn on. Wouldn't it be cool if this was set up like a Coliseum? And when someone pays to come in through the door, that also sets off a redstone signal that will drop an item from the ceiling. And then everyone that's already in here will fight to the death over it. Meaning every time someone comes in, there's a new item that drops, but only one person gets it. Now, I feel like players could definitely abuse this system. Uh, <laughs> it's a little bit risky, but if it costs 25,000 to get in, every time you trigger this, it's $25,000. Then theoretically, as long as my prize is under $25,000, then I would always make some sort of a profit. So, so the dropper will go right here. Or the dis oh, no, 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 no. What? I need you to face down, young man. What? Finally, okay. So that face is straight down. Then all we would have to do is go back to our base, get a little bit of redstone circuitry and hook it up. And we literally have single-handedly invented what I believe to be a really cool Coliseum mini game. I just am worried about it being taken advantage of. I don't 100% know if it'll work. So now a simple redstone wire all the way down to here. Dang, this is kind of cool. <laughs> I hope it works. So what we'll do is we'll pop in like some diamond blocks and then I'll go open this and see if it works. And to test it, if a diamond block is there, that means it spit out the item. So let's go ahead. I don't think it will, but let's see. Oh, it did. I did. I saw it drop it. Oh, it worked. Oh my gosh. I feel like we're really doing something here. And then I can fill this up with prizes and, and straight up a diamond block is worth what? Like it's nine diamonds, 1500. Ooh. So 13,000. That's actually a great deal. A diamond block's 13,000. It costs 25,000 to get into the arena. And if you were to win a couple fights, like say you won like, you know, two fights, you would actually make a profit, I think. 
Boy, I heard show up my mouse right on this one. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it is. Then we can like put in some other items in order to like give them some chances to win some really big prizes. Even hook up hoppers to it. Put a double chest on top of it, and then inside that double chest, put a bunch of prizes. Link that up to the hopper, and then inside the double chest, we'll start floating in some items. So like for example, redstone dust will be one of the prizes. And go to the auction house and start buying items, like a cave spider spawner. That'd be a sick prize. <laughs> I am spending a lot of money right now, guys. Um, I got these to throw in there as well for some prizes. So. We'll pop in our cave spider spawner. Lucky gems. These are just for enchanting. I'll tell you what. This is a darn good deal right here. What we have loaded up. Um, let's just do some like really crap items. Let's just go back to our chest room. See what we can clear out. This is how you get rid of the junk, folks. Right here. This is how it's done. Okay. I feel like this should last for a really long time. So I'm going to put in light gray concrete as like a backup. So as these disappear, concrete floods in. But right now, I mean, there's, there's, there's a lot of money in here. Now what I want to do is just add a little bit of like, you know, stuff on the inside for people. So we're going to put some like structures around here to block it off. Put some little designs here, you know, make it like a paintball course type thing. Give you a little sneaky window there. And okay. So that's like one corner. We'll do another thing over here. That's really similar to it. I feel like a Call of Duty map designer right now. Okay, so the only, uh, obviously there are a couple of concerns here. One of them being, um, first off, I could get scammed. I don't know if this idea is going to work. And then second off, the players might be able to camp the door and just kill you the second you come in. I don't really know the best way to prevent that from happening. The only final thing I think we should do is maybe go to the shop and buy a little bit more wood so we can make like a little ring around the outside. And with that ring, players who buy and maybe don't want to play just yet can watch. I mean, we made it out of glass for a reason. Okay, I'm almost done. Actually, there's one more thing I want to do, and I just realized I actually didn't put any lights on the inside, so I feel like we should. And I also thought of a brand new name for this. We're going to call this the Battle Dome. All right, the Battle Dome. I feel like that's a pretty good name. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to the Battle Dome. I mean, the thing is, with that door, we could add like literal VIP viewing platforms and stuff. It's pretty wild. So right here seems like a good location. There's like the uh, the premium seats up here. So I'm just making one for myself so I can watch it and see if it works. There we go. It's a nice little private box. I think we're just gonna try to use our own name as it, because because once people realize that it's me in the video they're gonna end up coming here anyway so let's go ahead and just tell people what the coordinates are and see if anyone comes all right so we got a couple players here um which is good problem is they're just watching me in this glass box it's it's not exactly ideal they're killing each other definitely not what we wanted so what i'm gonna do is see if i can get people to walk in by coming into the arena myself and then maybe they'll be able to open up the door and buy it to get in and have that thing trigger and fall. We're just trying to test it now to see, like, looks like they didn't just pay to open it. Someone did just pay for the key. Unfortunately, they didn't walk through yet. There we go. There we go. He's got it open. Now the item falls. Now, I guess I didn't explain that. See, we're learning over time. The item is fall. Now it's falling again. There's a lot of items in the center. Hopefully, they start realizing what's happening. Your boys could be winning. There we go. That's four. Four people that have paid. See, the good thing is they don't get to the door. They got to rebuy it. They're just chilling. They're not even fighting each other yet. It's good. We got a couple people in here. What I'm going to do is go back outside now that these people are in the battle arena and i'm gonna get another sign placed down because i think people don't realize that every time that happens an item falls so we need to put more information down welcome pay by using the chest inside pvp's on inside the dome free items every time someone pays to enter all right guys so we're moving into spectator mode now a couple players are now starting to show up so here is our dispenser um, you can see it has not dropped any of the grand champion items yet. There's some boots right there that have fallen through. That guy got some boots. They're tossing the items around. I want to get a couple more people to start coming in. I think the biggest problem right now is people are just killing each other on the outside. We need to make that a little bit more secure so they can't do that. Because even the spectator zone, you could die in. All right, so looking up here from our window, guys, it seems like this is now working fairly well. People understand that when they buy things, they're going to trigger the alarm. We're going to make some money. And so we're, we're currently at $15.7 million. Every time someone buys that, we're getting 25K. Problem is, you can pee. PvP across this line, which is right where our freaking chest thing to enter is. So that's kind of unfortunate. I think with a little bit of refining, this thing might be pretty amazing. This thing could be popping in money 24-7. Come join my server today. Hang out with me. Peace.